In this video, we're going to be talking about a huge announcement for the medication Ozempic that just came out earlier this week. Odds are you've seen this medication all across social media platforms such as TikTok and Instagram as the new standard of weight loss medication. In fact, it's recently been published in the New York Times as the new wonder drug, and the announcement about this medication is truly staggering. So Ozempic, known as semaglutide, is a medication used to treat type 2 diabetes, and it also has a substantial effect on weight loss. It's an injectable medication that is used one time per week, and the medication mimics a specific hormone in the body known as GLP-1, which is a hormone that sends a signal to the brain indicating when a person is full. Taking this medication will then send a signal to your brain, allowing you to eat less food, and eating less food overall will of course lead to weight loss. Now some of you may or may not know, but heart disease is the leading cause of death in individuals who have type 2 diabetes. In fact, people who have type 2 diabetes end up developing heart disease 15 years sooner than individuals without type 2 diabetes. And those who have a combination of type 2 diabetes as well as heart disease die on average about 20 years sooner than individuals without either of these. Well, gee, Mitch, thanks for scaring the crap out of me and making sure that I never get type 2 diabetes again or making me feel terrible about myself if I have type 2 diabetes. Well, that is not my goal. And the whole purpose of me bringing this up at all has to do with the announcement that Ozempic recently came out with. That announcement is at the end of a two year study that had to do with Ozempic, it was found to reduce the overall risk of heart disease in individuals with type two diabetes by a whopping 26%. It also was shown to reduce the overall risk of strokes by 26% as well. This is absolutely massive in the medical field and for one specific medication to reduce the risk of both heart disease and strokes by 26%, is remarkable. The cool thing about this is that this was seen and studied at the 0.5 and one milligram dose and not even at the highest dose of Ozempic, which is two milligrams. This means that at the highest dose of two milligrams, the potential for Ozempic to push that number even higher and reduce the risk even more is possible. So if you have type two diabetes or are even pre-diabetic, I urge you to talk with your doctor to see if you're able to get on Ozempic or a medication similar to this. If you wanna know even more important details about Ozempic, especially before you consider starting it, I definitely would recommend checking out this video here as it'll give you all the details that you need.